Hey, welcome back for another Cajun Toy Review. Today we're looking at Marvel Legends Loki from the brand new series Loki. Um, this is from the Disney Plus series of the same name. If you have not seen it, the first episode has played. It is awesome and fantastic and very exciting. I'm looking forward to see what, where it goes. With new elevations and like changes for the new MCU going forward. Because it is shaking some stuff up already. Um... This figure is not wearing anything that I've seen yet in the show, so um, some hints of what's to come. But it does have some builder figure pieces that we want and need to finish our Falcon, so we're going to open them up now. Uh, inside, no accessories I see for a Loki at all in there. I do see the stand, Red Wing, and a part for the other, the back for the builder figure. On the side, we got a nice art picture for Loki. Wearing uh, with the TVA logo and like the jacket, the uh, time variance. Same thing on this side, repeats. You got the Loki helmet, the symbol on top. On the back, uh, mere moments after his escape during the events of Avengers Endgame, Loki is apprehended by the Time Variance Authority, the TVA, and arrested for his crimes against the Sacred Timeline. Like I said before, if you have not watched the, the first episode or second episode by the time you watch this, Check it out. It is good. A um, couple of other build figures on here. Other uh, figures on here. We're finalized build figure wings. So far, I've done Captain America, Bucky, Vision, and now we're on Loki. So we got a couple more and we'll be done. Uh, but I'm so excited to check him out and let's do that. All right. And here we got Loki, the new MCU version from the, the TV series Loki, out of the package. Um, this figure is a lot of reuse and stuff, uh, mainly from the old Nick Fury figure from uh, Captain Marvel. But uh, currently, as we're recording this episode, on the third episode of the season, and um, I like the the look they gave him. You know, it fits uh, part of the show. It's not something that is constantly worn. Um, I think this figure was made pretty quickly, just to kind of uh, be the last figure for that wave. And get it out. Uh, having some accessories and stuff could have helped them a little bit as well. But overall, um, I'm a favorite. The head sculpt is, is, is definitely the best part for me. Uh, as being that everything else is pretty much reused. But let's take a look at it. Um, all right. So our low key. It's a completely new head sculpt, and it, I mean, it does look just like Tom Hiddleston. I mean, it's it is. Uh, pretty spot on, and Marvel has gotten phenomenally better um, in like the last year or two. And you can kind of tell like when they have the tech, like uh, access to doing like the laser sculpts and not, especially like when you're looking at like the Red Guardian uh, versus like six months, like the one that came out with the Iron Monger versus the one that just recently came out. Major difference. But uh, yeah, this one like it nails it, the eyes and everything. Uh, he's got this kind of like windswept hair. It looks, it, it works. It just, it's just kind of odd. Um, but solid paint. There's no uh, bleeding or anything like that with the, his hair, his eyes and stuff like that. Paint very well. I, I've seen where some people had like some paint defects on his face. Uh, I don't have any of that that I've seen. Um, I think I got a little dirt from moving him around just a little while ago. Now everything else is basically uh, is reused stuff from Nick Fury. And at first, I didn't know what figure it was, so I kind of was like checking it out, look at it, uh, with the jacket pieces. And then you, when you open it up, you can see he's got his holster for his gun and his bullets right there. So yeah, that's pretty much a giveaway, unless unless there's something coming to Loki I haven't seen yet. But hey, uh, the tie is really awesome. They did a good job with that. I thought about using this body as a uh, as a custom for a different character, but it won't work for what I want. But uh, maybe something else. I'll get another one for something else. Uh, the arms, once again, like same thing. It's reuse. Uh, but they did, you know, enough to to make it stand on. You got the the TVR logo right there. You actually see it on his belt buckle. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Uh, on the back, we got the variant. Which, if you don't know what that means, why are you watching this? Go watch that show. It's really good so far. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's just solid paint, and it's just brown and tan. I mean, there's nothing uh, remarkable about it. Uh, this figure, I can imagine if it didn't have a builder figure piece, might be a peg warmer for some. But it does come with the last, the stand and red wing, so it is needed if you want your new Captain America. 
but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good paint job all around. Um, uh, darker brown matches the tie with the accents on there. Shoes look really good. Uh, but there's no, like, you know, splotching or bleeding or anything like that. Uh, at least on this on mine, like I said, I've seen some people who had marks on their either their face or, or on the back. So, uh, as for articulation goes, you know, you got head rotation. Uh, you can look up, look down really good. Uh, looking up's a little bit a little hindered by the collar and uh, his his windswept locks. Um, got full arm rotation. Now he does have a, a the bicep swivel. It does like yeah, some turns hand, but he does uh, double joint. Um, you don't get a lot of uh, movement on it as much with his older arms, but it gets the job done. He comes with just two hands. I mean, his basic hands. There's no swappable hands. Additional for it. Also, no accessories. Like having his knives uh, would have been nice. Even like maybe the tesseract, you know, um, something else. But we just get the builder figure piece, and I guess that's why I'm being a little bit more, a little bit critical on it. Uh, you got uh, arm rotation, sorry, wrist rotation, and there is a joint there for flex. Um, it does have an ab crunch, so you can look about that far down. The back's going to be limited, especially with the coat. You got a thigh swivel. You got a double jointed knee. And that ankle rocker. Alright, so uh, let's compare Loki to some of the other previous Loki figures and maybe do a head swap or two. Alright, so first one we'll look at is going to be the comic version of Loki that came with the Hulk Builder figure wave for Endgame. Uh, this is going to be a more bright and vibrant one, being that it's based off the comic series. Uh, it's not the greatest comparison, but just to have it as a different Loki figure. There is a, another comic version from the Ragn uh, Onslaught series from back in Toy Biz. Which is a little bit more gritty, um, <clears throat> more traditional to the old comics. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just a couple, two different sides of the spectrum there. Um, the next Loki will be the Loki. This is the one from the uh, the Ragnarok one. This is the one that um, <clears throat> was reused also for the Corvius Glaive series. But this one uh, had a really good paint job on it and everything and stuff like that. I really like the colors and stuff they use for it. The capes are a little pain sometimes. But overall, uh, <clears throat> really like this figure. The only thing my brag would be the faces, and um, I can try to do a head swap. I'll do it on the next one because they're the same figure. But I do like he came with that crown. Which can we get on this? Can you work it? Not really. So, I mean, it said uh, this is the one from the uh, the two pack. Uh, this one actually came with. Uh, <clears throat> The Tesseract and with Corvius Glaive. Um, a little bit like same as the other one, it's just a repaint. This was a lot, lot darker colors and stuff like that. Like I said, I prefer the other ones, a little bit more uh, bright and vibrant, a lot more greens for Loki. But we could try to do a head swap. Let's see. And uh, hilariously, <laughs> that's not going to work. That is way too long. So uh, easily, I want to imagine that. Yeah. He looks more like a uh, John Romero coat and doom, but uh, yeah, no neck doesn't even it doesn't even lock in really. So <clears throat> moving on. All right. So the next one will be Lady Loki, and this is from the um, A4 set from Toys R Us uh, that had that came with uh, several different other Marvel ladies. I had pulled this figure out. I figured we'd be talking a little bit more about uh, Lady Loki being what a lot of people thought the show was going to go. But no. So anyway, um, just a different version of Loki. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. She hasn't been re-released -re anything um, at, at yet. But uh, that's a great figure. If you, had, if you don't have a chance, definitely I would recommend that one. If you like that character, version of that character. <clears throat> So, anyway, that's uh, that's really much. I ain't got a whole lot to say about Loki. There's not a lot to say about this figure. Uh, 
you know, when I'm talking about either the show or, or previous figures. So this figure alone as itself, if you want to get everything there is for the Captain America wave, uh, you need the stand and Red Wing, you're going to get this figure. Um, maybe we'll get a different updated version with the Disney Plus wave too. But as for that, uh, this is my weakest figure in that line. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, um, comment. You know, uh, what figures you want to see next? Which one is your favorite Loki? Uh, you know, what do you think about the show so far? Something like that. I'd love to engage with you guys. But anyway, see you in the next review. Take care of yourself.